Just push me to the left. You probably know what I'm gonna do. Make sure I see you. I can see you, right? You're the star, not me. <laughs> so ready? So how to create line? You just push my shoulder to the left. Yeah, ready and push. Good. So we do something fun. Push my hand first. Ready, push. And then one more time. Push. Good. So it's like a gentle push, right? Now push my arm, body, go. Good. So when it's soft, smaller pushes. Now no more pushing. I can go more heavy because it's loud, right? Push. Good. So it's more of a down than up, not just left, right? Because if, if you go left, what's going to happen? Ready? Just push hard, go. Too fast, right? But if you go down than up, see? Down, up. Down, up. All right, now time. So my time to push. Ready? And go. this suddenly louder. So what am I doing differently to you? Is I go... What am I doing? Down. Yeah, so I'm digging, right? I want to dig, yes. Mm. Not just dig, down, okay? Dig shovel! Yeah, although if you think down too much, then you end up hitting your head, you know? <laughs> you don't want that, yeah. So just enough, and imagine you're Sarah sitting on your arm. Yes. Can you imagine that? She's sitting on your arm. Ready? Sit on me. With both hands, ready, sit, go. Heavy, yeah. Yeah, you see that? You see this power. Okay, so not too hard, you'll break my hand. <laughs> All right. See you very rough. <laughs> ready? So dig. Stronger fingers, go. So a lot of students who don't dig, what happens is when they try to go loud, they go too fast. See, but if you dig, right, it stops you, yeah. So digging stops you from rushing. So we'll give it a try. We'll go from here. So stop for me. So we go from here. Our goal is to play softer and then suddenly dig. Let's see if you can do it. Make sure we don't go faster. Now make it sudden, okay? Now dig. So when you push, see that? See it that way? Are you going up, going down? Mm, can you go louder? More power. Okay. Power. Now louder. Now louder, ready? Go in even more, go all the way down. So ready, watch this, ready? Like this. Yeah. So it should look like this. Ready, Ryan? Look at me. Ya da 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 da. Ready? Down. Down. So here, go down all of a sudden. Ready? Up. Down. Awesome. Hi everyone. Thank you so much for watching our content. Before we move on, we have a very special product we'd like to tell you about. 
Have you ever wondered how we make our beginner students excel so quickly at a young age? It's because we use something called flashcards. It's simple. Figure out which line the notes is on and test your child or student. Our students do this 10 minutes every day and that's how we get them note reading very quick. They're fun, they're colorful, and kids love it because of the key rings. You can flip them quickly and teach rhythm, notes, and also time signatures. So don't forget to get your music flashcards. There's a very famous girl, her name is Amy Kabayashi. She's pretty famous now. But when she was tiny, you know, I used to watch her. She's like four years old, five years old. She was amazing. And when she was playing Mozart, you'll notice she keeps doing this. So when I was young, I didn't understand, you know. But I go, why is her sound so clear? And then when you grow older, you realize because she knows she's small, she puts her whole body into it. Yeah, so it's quite amazing the way she does it. You put the body into the piano. Mm. Once you get bigger and bigger, you don't need to do as much. It'll look weird if you're my size, right? And you're doing too much, right? But when you're smaller, you would need to do that. To practice mm. and get better. So practice playing yeah. louder. So make dynamics clear. And that's pretty hard, right? Because can you make those soft and louds come out? And then when you go loud, we can't go... Can't go... Fast. Faster. All right, so questions. Oh, see if you remember. What is the key of this piece? Hmm. Hmm. The key is hmm. The major? Good. High five. But next time you say it, be more confident. C major. Yeah, because I know it's C. The last note is C, the tonic, and it sounds happy, so it must be major. Yeah. You're like this, and it's C major. Look at mom. Is it right, mom? Yeah, so <laughs> you should try to know. Yeah? Not look at mom. Not look at your dog. Not look at Sarah. Yep. Now, a few more questions. What does 2 4 mean? So it's a time signature. 2 4 means? One, uh, you count 1 and 2 in. Good. And that means how many beats in the bar? 2. Good. Now, what kind of beats are they? 1 in. So and? that's a, what is it, quaver, crochet, minimum 2. So have a look at this. So one and is that a crotchet beat or a quaver beat? Quaver. So if I put four semiquavers together, it equals a quaver. Are you sure? If I put four semiquavers together, it equals a crotchet. Not crotchet. Crotchet. Say it. Crotchet. Good. So this is two crotchet beats in the bar. There's actually an easier way to remember. Is if the bottom number, do you look at that? It's like a recipe, ready? Two is the number of beats. Four is what kind of beat? So four is always crotchet. Right? So two, four. So it's two crotchet beats in the bar. Say it. Two crotchet beats in a bar. Let's say three, four. It means? Two crotchet beats in a bar. But number eight on the bottom means quaver beat. So if I say what's three, eight, Ryan? Three, eight means? Quaver beat. So three quaver beats in the bar. Got it? All right, quick test. What does nine, eight mean? Nine quarter beats in a bar. Nine what? Nine eight. Nine eight. So nine quarter beats in a bar. Eight equals quarter or quaver. Quaver? So nine quaver beats in a bar. Right. What does two four mean? So four quarter. Two four. So two. Two. You said it before? Two. Four means two quaver beats in a bar. Uh, four means crotchet. Yeah. Say for me, four means crotchet. Four means crotchet. So the two four, right? Two four. Yeah. So say four means crotchet. Eight means quaver. Let's turn it into a song. Ready? Go. Four means crotchet. Four means crotchet. Eight, eight means quaver. Ready? Eight means quaver. And then repeat. Go. Four means crotchet. Eight, eight means, means quaver. Crotchet. Eight means quaver. quaver. Okay. So again, four means quaver. Eight means quaver. Four means cr cr 
Crotcher. Crotchet. Say it. Crotchet. Eight means? Quaver. All right. So what does two four mean? Four. So two four. is on the top. So two. Two quarter pizza number. Done. What does six eight mean? Six quarter. Six. Six quarter pizza number. Very good. What does nine eight mean? Nine, uh, nine quarter beats. Think about it, think about it. Nine, eight. So? Eight quarter beats. So nine is on the top. So nine, say it for me. Nine. And then eight means? Mm, eight, nine. Yep. Take your time. Nine, quail, nine quarter beats in a box. All right, got it. Okay, does that make sense? Great, so take your time to think about it before you answer. definitely hard to, to learn it at a young age. But that but because you're young, you see numbers more clearly. So just think eight quaver. Have to repeat all the time. Four crush. It's very hard. Yeah. 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 I know because when I was his age I didn't even know what. You know. I didn't ask him the questions about a week and then he He'll just forget, totally right? forget. Yeah. Yeah. I only knew it until I was maybe <laughs> nine, you know. Only nine years old I actually understood it, yeah. Before I don't even know what's happening. Yeah. I'll just say everything crotch be. I don't know what's quaver be. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I used to, I don't get it. Now, why are the quavers in 6 8 time grouped in threes? You know? Are they triplets? I kept thinking they were triplets, you know. But only when I started studying theory, oh, they're actually quavers, not triplets. It's because it's 6 8, so it's grouped into 3 3. Yeah, but you don't need to learn that now. But at least know 6 8, 6 quaver beats on the bar. And moving on, let's do March. Let's see if you sound like a March. about it is it's very in time and then you actually created some shapes and I'm not sure if you did it on purpose but your rest came off very well yeah so the, I was getting ready getting ready you know oh, the rest like coming off too late or too early but you actually came off at the right time yeah so there's a game I used to play with your sister so I forgot one two three four one yeah that's the Crocodile. game yeah but if you come in too late or too early you get eaten yeah double yes <laughs> you watch you too many five, fighting stuff three lives <laughs> three lives yeah so what do you watch? You like Avengers or something? You like superheroes? No, I, I watch Ninja Turtles. Oh, Ninja Turtles. Okay, it makes sense. <laughs> also, where you get the from the bombs? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, so one thing you left out was that it says a non-legato here. Now, you might get confused, right? Why is this so not clear? It's because Bach never put non-legato in. It's just an interpretation. Say it for me. Interpretation. 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 Say it. Interpretation. Yeah, so it means how you can play this piece. So back in the Baroque period, they would often keep certain notes coming off. Yeah. So for some pieces, it might be all the quavers come off. And some pieces, might be all the crotches come off. Yeah. So keep that in mind. That's why it's teaching you to make it sound more Baroque. You keep coming off on the crotches. Now, you notice this guy is Carl Philip Emanuel Bach. And before you get so excited, say, oh, it's the famous Bach. It's not that Bach, okay? This is Bach's son. So we call him CPE Bach, yeah? That's his nickname. So it's Bach's son. So hop up for me. So keep that in mind. Do you know who Bach is? He's the one who composed. He's really famous. Yeah, way more famous than his son. I play that piece. Yeah. And then he had 
like 20 kids. But, ah. but four of the boys became very famous musicians. Yeah, when I say famous, I just mean like famous in Germany, that kind of thing. But nowhere near as famous as Daddy. Like Daddy is the king. So have a look, how do I play this? Notice I use my body, right? So it may not be easy, let's see if you can do it, coming off on those crotches. The first one though, slow off. Da, da, da. Good. Now how do we make it more fun? Keep the left hand short. Very light like this, ready? I'm gonna try left hand. Yeah. Do you know what you should imagine? Imagine tickling your best friend. Yeah. Do you ever tickle your best friend? Tickle my sister a lot. Oh, you tickle your sister, okay. Imagine tickling your She's sister. She's really annoyed. She gets annoyed. Good. That's why you should do it. <laughs> Alright, so without rushing it. though, without rushing. Tickle doesn't mean fast. the crocodile. Good. Oh, 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 didn't go high enough. Try again. D. Dig. You can't, you can't miss the note, right? When the crocodile will still eat you. You can't just miss the note. Let's try again. Da -da. How impressive can you make that crescendo? Ready? Yeah, Ninja Turtles. Yes, there's Ninja Turtles, yeah? He's jumping up. Good. Alright, let's go from... I also watch um, Ninjago. You watch what? Um, it's like a Lego ninja. Oh, a Lego ninja, cool. And Lego. they turn into green tornadoes. Cool. Giant tornadoes. Okay, let's hope you don't turn into a green tornado. So let's go from the top. And they have Dun. fire time and stuff, so they turn to red. All right, let's go. Peace. All right, let's try again. Counts. Go four, four, four one, and two, and two, and four. And two, and two, and two. Dig more. Yeah. Right, ready? Like this. Da 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 da. Dig. Da 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 da. Dig. Da 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 da. Make sense? Does it make sense? Good. Yeah. Because it's like singing, right? Sing it for me. Sing. Well, oh, it's good practice for you to sing. Yes. So sing it for me. Da da. Sing. No, no playing. Sing. La 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 la
So you notice when you sing, it's like this. Da da. It's like a da 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 yeah, it's hard, right? String instruments are hard. That's not what it sounds like. <laughs> you sound like a, a battle. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing you're not playing it. Then. <laughs> you'll break. <laughs> you'll break the. The, the, the line on the thing will break. That's right. Okay, back to the piano. So ready and dig. Da. Dig. Da. Now together, go. So I'll play left hand, go. Nice and light, okay? You don't want to overpower me. Ready? Four and one. Up. Light and soft. And coming off. Four and one. Two. Okay, like this. Play left hand for me. See how I'm going up? Yeah. Very light. Yeah. That's hopping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hopping. So ready? Four. Ready? Four and one. You're the march, okay? Don't rush. Last time you play left hand, go four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and one. So just keep your eyes glued. Ready, go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Let's see if you can still be awesome, but with both hands. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's try. So lights. Oh. Right. So we're turning this into a game, okay? So what kind of games do you like? I uh, really like Ninja Turtles. Good. So you play with your Ninja Turtle toy? Yeah. Okay, no, so I don't have Ninja Turtle toys. Well, then what do you play then? Uh, I play with my Ninja Turtle toy. Why don't you look at mum? You're telling me what you play with. Lego. Yes. <laughs> Are you trying to tell mum what to buy for you? <laughs> so you like Lego, is it? I play with Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards. Okay. So this is a game. You have a Pokemon. The Pokemon. Pokemon's name is what? Pikachu. Not Pikachu. Okay. Uh, Mewtwo. I don't know that one. Let's say Squirtle. That's something I know. I like Charizard. Okay. Um, does, does this Pokemon hop a lot? What's a Pokemon that jumps a lot? You don't know. Yeah, two. I know. Alright, three. Two. Jumpy Jack. Okay, yeah, Jumpy Jack. That's a Pokemon's name? Okay. Yeah. Alright, so Jumpy Jack, and every time Jumpy Jack fails and doesn't hop up the right time, you lose, okay? You have to go back to the very top. The Pokemon sense? battles you and defeated Jumpy Jack. Yes, but if you make it to the end and all your jumps are correct, Jumpy Jack wins, okay? The and, tournament. And if you get the badge. That's right. So we'll find Power out if you get a badge. Power up and involve. Yes, but we'll call the badge two stickers today, okay? <laughs> so ready, from the very top. Go, jumpy jumpy. 
If I was you, I'd go a bit slower, yeah. Good. Go slower, yeah. Now is it going to come up? Oh, so you failed. So I put an asterisk here, so you know this is the one you failed on. So, you have to start again, Jumpy Jack. Three, four, and one, and two. Dika and the left hand. So, yeah, so it's together. Yeah. And the left hand. And then the right hand. Yes. And two. And three. And four. And one. And two. Does it make sense? Good. Now the last one is long, okay? So I see a red sign, so your mom has taught you that already. Let's try both hands. Dom. Hi. And where's the left hand? Jack, say it with me. Jack. All right, good. So that's how I want you to practice at home, okay? So turn these jumps. Good. So turn these jumps into a game, okay? And think, all right, if I make a mistake, Jumpy Jack fails and starts again until I make it to the very end. Does that make sense? And this will make you focus while you practice. I'm not sure. I have the jumping. I had a jumping Pokemon, but I'm not sure if it's actually called that. I don't know. I mean, don't know. You made it up? No, There's I no Pokemon no. Okay, I'll search it up later <laughs> and I'll message your mom if it's made up. <laughs> um, because I had a Pokemon, I'm not sure. It was, it was jumping really much and I'm not sure it was actually called Jumping oh, Jack. How come it sounds like Jack in the Box? It does Something not I used to play with when I was young. I don't know what it's. Uh, Jack in the Box. You wouldn't know what that is. It's very old. I had one, but I don't know what it's called. All right, so work on articulation. So when do slurs come off? And then we're going to follow those five times rule signs. Point at them real quick. Where are my five times rule signs? Ding, ding, ding. One. End of the second line. Yes. All right, and second one is? Good. So what we're going to do is five times rule right hand, left hand, and both hands, fixing all articulation. But there's a reward if done well only need three times, okay? So you can come up with a plan with mom, okay? If I only make, let's say, two mistakes, then I can keep going. But if you make more than two mistakes, you have to do the full how many times? Five times. See, yeah. Rules. See, turn it into a game, okay? So if you've done well, only need two mistakes, only need three times, okay? Let's say two times you forgot to come off, but more than that, no, gotta do another few times. And let's do one more. Let's finish it off. Minuet by Mozart. See if you can pass it. The one. Two feet, okay? Ah, yes. No, no, no. I don't like this one. The rhythm, isn't it? Rhythmic piece. Let's try. Uh, I just can't like the watermelon stuff. It's okay. Just go slower. Do your best. Mm -hmm.
All right, done really well. This is really good. So it's actually meant to be very hard, but you nailed it, good job. So five times rule, but three times if good, and do the same thing, okay? Up until those repeated signs. I'm glad you know it. How do you know how to do the pineapple thing? Your mom teaches you. Yeah. It's e way easy to count one and then two and then. Yeah. But I just counted one. Because sometimes it'd be this, right? One yeah. and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and two and three and one and two and three and one. And then once you go back to semi quavers, you go one and two and. But of course, the fun way to do it is you come with the fruit, right? Pineapple. Yeah. Pineapple, and pineapple. And all the semi quavers is yeah. watermelon. That's right. And then once you hear one and two and three and one and two, and then here just say watermelon. Yeah, that's um, really fun. Do, um, do you only have those little packs or do you have bigger Pokemon cards? You'll see in a moment. He counted, he counted fruits with the metronome and that works. Yeah, it works. Yeah. So, so let's show the audience what you're doing. So let's have a look here. So we got three beats in a bar, and what we did was rather than say one and a two and a three and a one and two and three and you can make it fun. So triplets, what do we say, Ryan? Uh, pineapple. Pineapple. Okay. So we say pineapple, pineapple, pineapple. One and two and three and one and two and three. Some people make it fun. And watermelon pineapple. two. <laughs> watermelon two. And three. Watermelon. And then once you go watermelon. semi quavers. Yeah. So it's balancing between left and right. Show the audience. Go. Just check the notes before you play. Mind blank. This is a G. And this one. Okay. So show the audience. Okay. Good. So usually we'd say this, right? So let's do it the right way. Say one and two and say it. One and one. And two and two and three. See? So he struggles a bit because of the coordination. Yeah. So left to right. So what can we do to make it easier? We say watermelon. Now do it. Watermelon, 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 watermelon. Good. And then just make the left hand more staccato. Ready? Go. One. Short, 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 short. Really short, like the other piece. Watermelon. Two, one. Yeah, ready? Go. One and two. Yeah, watermelon, 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 watermelon. All right. So from the very top, counting out loud. So with the pineapples and watermelons, go. This one is really good. We'll just pass it. Yeah? And make sure you know minuet is. Uh, minuet. It's a minuet. Of course, it's a minuet. It's a name minuet. Yes, very smart. But it's actually a type of. That. Good. And is it just a dance or is it in a particular beat? How many beats are there in the bar? Uh, two. What? Three. Good. And are these for some minuets or is it for all minuets? All minuets. All minuets, good. Okay, so if it's a minuet, you should know straight away it's a dance in triple time and it originated from France. Okay, so it's French. Now, you probably don't know where France is, but that country people are very poetic. Now, bonjour. Ah. Je m'appelle Ryan. So everything is very lyrical um. and you wouldn't play it too aggressively, okay? So make sure you know that. Now in my class, um, in year one, knows bonjour, Thomas. Thomas knows bonjour. He knows bonjour. Yeah. Can he speak French though? Yeah. Or does he only know bonjour? Bonjour. Oh, he only knows bonjour, okay. He so, knows, really. <laughs> so that's he not knows, speaking French though. <laughs> he learned it one. Okay. It's like me saying one thing, ni hao. Oh, I can speak Chinese. <laughs> All right, so what is the key of the piece? F. F major. Good. So we sound more confident this time. And what is the form? Do you think it's ternary? Is it binary? What do you think? 
Binary. Say it one time, I can't hear you. Binary. Very good. Where's A, where's B? Go. Um, A, here to here, mm -hmm. B, here to um, the end. Very good. And you notice during the Baroque period, they make it so easy for you. They put a repeat sign to literally tell you where the sections are. My, um, my sister normally mm. sneakily, you know, my sister sneakily put the sticker on, um, sticker on the, um, the march, the march, and then she literally um the on the week, and then she took it off from the thing, but I think she put it back on now. Oh, that's not good. And All then right. we got mixed up on. So let's look at this one again. What is a short line called? It's called a pretender. Oh, short line. It's called a slur. Slur. Good. Explain slur for me. Uh, dig in. So we say slur means to play legato, then lift, like this, and you show me. So like this, ready? If I was explaining to a friend, right, I would say this is a slur, which means to join the notes, legato, and then lift like this. You see that? So pretend I don't know piano. What's a slur, Ryan? What, what, what's this? Slur, which means? To explain to me, what does it mean? Without the piano. You've got, you've got to explain, yeah? So slow means to play legato. Say play legato. So so connected. Say for me. So play connected. Play connected. Then lift like this. Say for me. Good. One more time. So let's say I don't know. Ryan, what is a slow? Then you say. Uh. Lift. Play. Play down. Play. Con. Play connect, and then... Yeah. Maybe another way to say it, you're so young. Uh, connect, it might be too hard. Join the nose. Is that easier? Join the nose. Yeah, so just join the nose. So not, ah, 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 ah. Join the nose, then lift like this. Say for me. Join the nose, then lift like this. Good. I'll make it more kid-friendly, okay? <laughs> <laughs> then lift, and then you demonstrate. Okay, I'm actually going to write this down, okay? So I will test you next week. And then, what do... Hmm. You know, right? What are these called? So it's three in a beat. It's called a trip. Triplet. Which means three notes mm -hmm. in a beat. Yeah? Good. What are these called? Two lines joining. They're called... Se. Legato? The rhythm. They're called semi... semi -quiva. And how many of them are there in the crotchet? Three. Two. There's four, okay? Four. Alright, so I'll test you this next week. Make sure we know. So next week we'll use flashcards. And we will test... We'll use the music flashcards. Luckily we got rhythm there. So we'll test... Quaver, crotchet... Semi quaver, triplet, everything, okay? Mm -hmm. It'll be very simple, just be like, what is this? You can see this, and you go, oh, it's a quaver. Then I might ask you, how many quavers are there in the crotch? You just say two. Yeah? So mum will test this with you, okay? Spend some time on this, it's quite important you know this. Okay. Otherwise, it'd be embarrassing if your teacher asks you, oh, you play piano so well. So what's this? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> so don't know anything, yeah? All right, good. This one can pass. Now I'll give you another piece, so just one more. Do something romantic. Cool, you passed two today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more piece from the screen. One more piece of my composted screen.
I'm also giving you one grade three piece. Oh, I want to see how you go. Let's see how long it is first. Though. If it's long, I might just give you half of it. Stand on my right. Oh, good, you know where right is. I've been learning really much. Never had a struggle with right and left so much. <laughs> right, so. Something romantic. So I already played it, that one. How about this one? This looks romantic. Now, the hard part, I would say, is probably figuring out your pedal. Because there's no pedal written down, right? And you have to understand, because this is 1960, it's 20th century, which means you can actually add pedal at will. It doesn't need to be written down for you. Make sense? Yeah? And then once you're good, it does go quite fast. It'll probably go... <laughs> figure out where to change. I will go beats one and beat two. Change. That's it. Now, moving on. Grade three. Grade three. Hmm, which piece would suit you? It's so long. So beautiful piece. I really like this one. Separate hands as usual, and then work on your shapes. Any questions for today? It's no? really long. It's really long. But do you like it though? Does it sound good? Yeah. Sounds nice, right? Okay, give me a high five. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. You're so critical. Now give the audience a peace sign. Peace. Okay. 